Another way that we can have students collaborate and interact is using the throw tool. The throw tool allows students to take screenshots or send images to the whiteboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an example of taking a screen capture. So maybe you have students working on a website or web assignment and you want the students who are physically at home to be able to send an example to you by taking a screenshot. So in this example, I have kids working on IXL and remember Blake here is my sample student. So he's already answered the question correctly and I've asked Blake to share his work with me. So I'll let Blake explain how he's going to send this to me as the teacher. So I need to take a screenshot of my work. So on a Chromebook, control shift in your window display, which on my keyboard is above the number five. I get crosshairs to which then I can draw and basically take a screenshot of that portion of the screen. It automatically goes to a file folder. I go to myviewboard.com slash sharp where I already put my name in, the same thing we did for pop quiz. I select the upload and in the downloads I can see my new screenshot based on time and also a little image of it. I select it, click open, and it's now sending to Mr. Sharp's whiteboard. So if you remember, when you hear that ding, something's happened. The student might have sent a pop quiz, throw, screen share request. So there's two ways I can access throw. One is to go to the bell, and I can see that Blake has sent me a file. This is always nice too, because you can get a little preview to make sure uh, if it's appropriate or not. Or the other way that you can get it is by, again, going to the magic box. Remember, that's the box in the main toolbar. And you'll see a paper airplane icon. The paper airplane icon is our icon for throw. So when I click on that, it'll open up this folder and you'll see here my first screenshot that Blake sent me. To add this screenshot to my whiteboard, I just need to click and drag or touch and drag to add it to my canvas. You can see here his screenshot has appeared. I can move it over to the side and then I could annotate over the top of it and say, do we agree, disagree with what Blake has done? Again, this is an easy way to have students share their work who are at home and not physically in class. We're all used to being able to walk around and see students' screens, see what they're working on. So a habit you can get in is kids who are at home or not physically with you, just say, hey, this is screenshot time. Everybody send me a quick screenshot of the problem you're on right now. Now, another use for throw is that sometimes we have non-digital material that we want to be able to use digitally. So as an example, I have a worksheet here that I've sent home to kids. They've printed it out and I want them to work on it. But how do I show this to kids first to give them an example? How do I show this so that they're prepared to use it? Potentially you could use a document camera, but we can actually use throw as a document camera as well. So earlier we talked about the My View Board companion app. The companion app can be installed on your phone and you can sign in using your Google, Microsoft, or Apple account. On the companion app, when you're signed in, you'll see one of the icons is a paper airplane icon. Remember, paper airplane is for throw. So if I touch that at the very bottom of my phone, it's gonna give me the option to turn on my camera or access my browse, which is just images that I've already taken. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my camera and you'll see here that it's gonna turn my camera on. I'm gonna walk over and take a picture of this worksheet. You'll see here on my phone that it gives me a preview. If I touch the check mark, that will add it to my list. And then at the top, you're gonna to see where it says host name. Host name just has to match your board name. So remember, our board name is in the top left corner, mine sharp. So as long as sharp and board name match, I'm good. Next, I touch the paper airplane in the top right corner of the companion app. That's gonna throw it. You'll see the animation. 
When it's successful, we're gonna get that success. Again, you heard the ding. Now I can go add this image by again going to notifications or to the magic box, but something that's special about the companion app is that as the teacher, when I throw something, it's actually gonna ask if you would like to automatically open it. So I don't actually have to go to the companion app or excuse me, the magic box or the uh, notifications. I can just open it from here. So if I hit yes, you'll see here it took it and immediately opened it here on the canvas. So now if I'm screen sharing, my paper is now digital and all my students at home can see. So I can use my pen tool to tell students. For this first part, since this is your first time working with theme, I only want you to answer this first section. So everybody's gonna answer this first section about what they think the theme of the story they read was. And then I want you to use throw to send it back to me. Again, this is especially helpful for my students who are virtual. So Blake is my virtual student. He has a worksheet, he's already answered it. So I'm gonna ask him to take a picture and send it to me. So Blake, why don't you walk through that process? So what I need to do first is launch the camera. So I'm gonna swipe up from the bottom to launch my apps, select the camera app. I'll get an allow. So once my, once my camera launches, I can hold up my sheet and then snap the picture. I then will go back to my Chrome browser, to myviewboard.com slash sharp, click the plus button and upload again. And now in downloads, I have the new picture that I just took of my work from my worksheet. I select it, click open, and now it's sending to the whiteboard for Mr. Sharp to bring in. So again, we heard the ding. That means Blake's work has arrived. I can manage that from the bell or the notifications. It's going to show me his work here. I can see it at the top. So it's just a nice little preview. Note that kids can also use the camera if they have phones or mobile devices by going to myviewboard.com slash your board name and that will activate the camera as well. So if you're on a Chromebook, follow the steps that Blake showed us how to do, but if students have access to phones, they can also use the camera feature. So again, we'll go in here, choose Blake's name. That's gonna open the magic box. It's gonna show his work here. I can touch and drag it onto the canvas. That will then insert it over here. And now I have a copy of Blake's work. So even though he's not physically with me, in class, he can still use Throw to send me the work. So Throw is another really great tool to engage kids by holding them accountable, saying, hey, I care about what you're doing at home. You can still send it to me. All you gotta do is take a quick picture and then throw it to me. I can open it so we can all see and review the great stuff that you're doing. <laughs>